Well, that was unexpected for a lot of us. He may be good, he may be bad, but either way, it doesn't really matter to you. You can only control what you can control as a salesperson. So don't worry about what's outside of your control. Most people spend way too much time worrying about issues outside of what they can really control. But what I found is that the top one percenters in sales never worry about that crap. Instead, focus on these seven things that you can control. In this video, I'm going to show you seven things all salespeople must do now that Donald Trump is in charge. Check it out. Number one, get clear on your goals. All goals in sales are personal. I find that so many people think that their goals are either professional or personal, but you know what? With sales, because your personal goals are what ultimately drive your professional goals, they're really all the same. Get really, really clear on what you want to accomplish this year and let them drive you to crush it. Number two, know exactly how many prospect outreaches you need each day. Do you know how many outreaches you need to make each day in order to hit your goals? Most salespeople don't. And by prospecting outreaches, I mean emails sent, calls made, even meetings set. Until you're incredibly clear on what you have to do in order to ultimately set that ideal number of meetings, you're really just throwing darts at a wall. Get clear on what you need to do each and every day in order to hit your sales goals. Number three, script out the first seven seconds of any interaction. The research tells us that it only takes seven seconds for a complete stranger to decide whether they want to continue a conversation with you. So do you know exactly what you're doing in those first seven seconds of any interaction? Or are you just kind of winging it? By scripting out that first seven seconds of any call or any face-to-face -face introduction, you are going to have a much higher success rate of ultimately continuing that conversation and in the long term, closing that sale. Number four, break the pattern. It's time to stop being like every other salesperson out there because when your prospect perceives you as like everyone else that they've met over the course of the last day, week, month or even year, they're immediately going to put up that wall and they're going to keep you at an arm's length. So it's time to break that pattern that they're expecting you to do. Flip the standard approach right on its head. So when your competitors are starting a conversation with something like, hey, how are you today? Instead, how can you flip that entire approach on its head doing the exact opposite? Number five, disqualify prospects. It's time to stop persuading prospects to do business with us. There's really two issues. One is that they're expecting it, and two, it's what every other salesperson out there is doing. They know that they're going to be sold and ultimately persuaded, so the wall is up. Instead, start to disqualify people who aren't the right fit and focus 100% of your time on truly qualified prospects. Number six, ask questions about challenges. You know what, prospects care about one person in the world, and that is themselves. It's time to stop pitching our products or services because they don't care. All they care about are solving the challenges that are in front of them. Make it about them. Ask them questions that are ultimately going to lead to them solving those key challenges. Number seven, Ask everyone for introductions. Nothing makes us stronger in selling situations than a full pipeline. Just think about the last time your pipeline was full and loaded to the brim. The next time you were in front of a prospect who wasn't a fit, were you trying to weasel your way into that sale? No, because you had a full pipeline. You didn't need the business. So make that happen all the time by getting leverage. Get your customers, prospects, friends, and even enemies to introduce you to other people that you could do business with. It's one of the easiest ways to completely fill your pipeline. So there are seven things all salespeople must do now that Donald Trump is in charge. I want to hear from you. What will you do now that the Donald is in charge? 
Be sure to share below in the comment section and I'll be sure to respond to every comment that I can get to. And if you enjoyed this video, then I have this awesome free ebook on 25 tips to crush your sales goals. Just click right here to get it instantly. Seriously, it's an amazing book and it's free. Just click right here. Also, if you got some value, please like this video below on YouTube because that really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking right here to get access to a new video just like this one each week. Lastly, if you got just one useful idea from this video, please share it with a friend or two. A great idea is the best gift you can give someone. Until next week.